All right, hey guys, welcome back. This is Puck Range Mike, and today we're going to be jumping back finally onto Pokemon Shadow to do our Generation 2 random battles. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we'll do a couple battles, probably four or so, and let's get started. All right, so we got the very powerful Dragonite up against Radicate starting off. Uh, most likely all the Pokemon are going to be having leftovers as this was the first generation that introduced items and it is pretty popular. Um, not sure exactly what I want to do, but I think I'm switching to Umbreon and we'll see what he goes for. Oh, he goes for the Super Bang. Excellent. That is great for me. <laughs> I'm just going to Toxic him. He's just going to keep Super thing as I miss. Awesome. Let's try to confuse right him. So hopefully he won't be able to hurt us too much. Hopefully. No, he broke through. Alright. Um don't have much for him, honestly. But I'm just gonna go into right on and we will earthquake. See what he does. Won't be surprised if he uh, switched out. But he's taking his time, so let's just put that on. So he hurts himself, I get Earthquake off, does a lot of damage. Um, let's just go for the Earthquake again. Hurts himself again. Finally getting some good luck on my side. Now, I would guess he'd want to bring out probably a Water type if he had it. Obviously, because 4 times super effective, or Grass type. Um, yep. He's going to bring out the grass type. And let's just go right into Arcanine. Hopefully, he doesn't predict me switching and goes for the sleep powder. And he does. <laughs> That's fine, though. Um, not too much to worry about, honestly. So, I'm going to be faster. He's not going to be able to hit me with much. He's most likely going to have to switch out. So that the Blossom has anything like him power water. Um, yeah, so pretty safe position for us. Um, it is unfortunate that we... No, he has his own right. <laughs> Don. Ha! Hey. Hey. Hmm. 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 We're going to switch on Dragonite. Yeah, I thought I might do that. Now, I can either go for the Ice Beam. Or I could switch on the Rhydon. And then we'll just have speech shenanigans. I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam as he switched out the Ninetales. Okay. That's kind of good for me. Um... Now I'm switching Arcanine. Try burn the sleep turn. Honestly, no, okay, it goes in the poor gun. Honestly, um, my team does not match up well against Rhydon. I don't really have anything for it, unfortunately. Which he brings out again, burn up a sleep turn, that's okay. Um, this point, Amphrost is kind of useless to me. I am going to be faster, so I'm going to just go for the Hempire Ice. Honestly, Amphrost, like, 
doesn't really do anything for me. It doesn't really deal with Blossom, Ninetales, Porygon, or Rhydon. So he's just going to go to Porygon. Yes, I shall try to Thunder. See if I can land it, hopefully. No, my luck, I probably won't be able to. But, you yeah, know, that's the game. I do. I live. If I can land another, that's his poor gun gone. So that'd be very good for me. But it does switch on the ride on, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to go for the Empire Ice. Didn't really want to predict it. Um, if you did, you know, chance the Porygon going down to the Thunder, that'd be good for me. Um, but, like I said, don't have... Ooh, that's nice. Very nice, very nice. So now, I'm going to switch out into my Persian. And Persian has that nice Ice Beam. So let's just go for that and hope for the best. Oh, almost takes it out. Almost. Oh my gosh, he gets a crit. Ow. That hurt a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, Ice Beam's still the best play. Mm, I'm going to go for a return. Hopefully this knocks him out. I would be very sad if it doesn't. <laughs> that would not be good for me. But hopefully I'll knock it out, and this is the hit hard any other Pokemon that are going to be switching in and say I've right on. Yep, Blossom. I don't know why I did that when I was Ice Beaming, um, but this will allow me to go into Arcanine. He goes for Razor Leaf, and gets Crit. Total skill, you know. He predicted. But if I can wake up, this would be very good. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm going to go for the crunch. Hopefully he can knock out right on. I stay asleep. No. What is this? My luck. I'm still asleep. Oh my gosh. My luck with sleep is amazing. Um, I'm just going to go in the Persian. It's fine. I'll ice beam. Cry on the inside. He switches in nine tails. Okay. So I have one chance, and that's to hit this hypnosis, which it probably won't. I did say that about Thunder, so hopefully that'll stay true. Nope. Okay. That's fine. And he lands the Fire Blast. Awesome. Let's just go with Ride On. And we will Earthquake. Ow. I took down two of his Pokemon. I'm the best. All right, he has Beedrill. It's fine. I don't think he has anything that can knock me out, honestly. Nope. He had some hidden power of some kind. <laughs> the great comeback. Uh, hopefully we'll land this Fire Blast. <laughs> nope, he's faster, and he poisons me, and I miss. Yep, there's my luck. Well, that's a GG. Yep, oh well. Let's move on to the next one. No. <laughs> uh, 
Hmm. Hmm. All right. We're up against Snorlax King. This is going to be fun. I also like how my uh, name is cut off on the thing. Oh my gosh, double edge. Why did you take nothing? That recoil is nothing. Now that I realize I should have been going for the return. <laughs> oh, and my opponent left. So hopefully they'll be back. We will see, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. This is weird. Come on, war. Come on, war. Come on, come on, war. You can do it. You can do it. Alright, we got 30 seconds. Twenty. Ten. All right. Well, on to the next one. We'll do probably one or two more, and then we'll uh, stop it for this episode. As I am up against Nine Tails, who scares me a lot. Um. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go do gong, do gong, gong, gong. Yep, only twenty-five with flamethrower. Pretty nice. Just gonna go for a surf. Don't think, even if he switches, I don't think there's much that can handle the water ice coverage. Other than Blissey, okay. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go on the no queen because we'll not be able to poison or thunder wave me. Yep. Figured as much, and we're just going to go for the Earthquake. Stab, physical. So far, what he has shown, this is a good choice. And Ice Beam only does 37, so just going to keep Earthquaking. So this will be a good opportunity for me. Bring up Marowak, doesn't do all that much, but I'm going to switch into Zapdos because I really don't want to get hit by a Earthquake. What? <clears throat> what? What? <laughs> that made no sense. That made no sense. How did he predict I had a flying type? Um, let's go for the lovely kiss. Like how he put on the timer, but he's the one who's uh, taking his time. <laughs> Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Guess they'll just earthquake, see how much it does. Hopefully enough. Hopefully. Uh, not enough. Not enough. He bore, he bore. Um. All right, 
So I'm going to go for the drill pick. Because I'm going to predict him switching to Marowak. Because he seems like the kind of guy who uh, likes to make predictions. Or not. It's a hard not life for me. Just go for the Thunderbolt. I guess the other reason why he went for the rock slide was because I had the dugong, so the ice type. You know, I don't understand this guy. <laughs> I was just going for the drill pack, which is physical. And he switched down to Blissey, which doesn't have good physical defense. A lot of his plates make me question his moves. Oh my gosh. Of course he freezes me. Ah. Ah. Great. 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 Great to lose. It's, you know, oh my gosh. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Fine, 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 fine. It's just amazing to showcase how great my luck is on these videos. It just fills me with such pride to be able to show off just how good I am. All right, so the question is, last time I went out to Dugong, is he gonna think I'm gonna go out into it again? I'm not, I'm gonna make a prediction and just go for the earthquake. And hopefully I'll deal a butt ton of damage. And he confused raised me. And I got the earthquake off. Boy, it does little to nothing. So this time I'm switch on Dugong. <laughs> oh my gosh. And he burns me. Eh. Why? Why, my friend? Why? Honestly, he's probably going to switch on the Blastoise, but I don't really have anything for it. Nope, this side's going on the Venmoth. Okay. So, I'm going to go for one more Surf, and then the rest talk, or I'm going to sleep, rest. That's the word for it. I burned, I guess he thought he was going to switch. Alright, so this time I'm going to rest. And we'll see what he does. He sledge bombs. I rest. Heal up. Now I'm going to click sleep talk. These battles are really long. Surf. Nice. Alright, one more. One more, Dugong. One more. Dugong, gong, gong. He goes for sleep powder for some reason. I don't know why. Ice beam, nice. I'm not sure if this guy understands rest at all. Oh my gosh. It's nervous ring. I'm just gonna go for the surf. Because this thing's scabby. That is one angry papa bear. This guy really doesn't know much, I guess. Considering the fact that both Surf and Ice Beam are special. And he went for Counter, which, you know, counters physical moves. Yeah. Hmm. I'm curious if he doesn't know how Counter works. Okay, 
he finally switches. Um, yeah, Surf is just my best move. I need to keep my Dew going for the Nine Tails, and so I would guess he's gonna bring out his Blastoise next because it can wall. But he doesn't decide to, so most likely he's gonna try to confuse Ray me. It all comes down to the 50-50 of if I get confused or not. Personally, I would have gone out to the Blastoise. Ooh. He thought I was going to switch. That's weird. But nope. So Flamethrower, Confuse Ray, Substitute. I'd be surprised if he had a uh, Solar Beam, but it might make sense with the Substitute. No, he has Toxic. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, it's all good because I can just rest it off. So pretty much this game is in the bag and he just keeps sending out Pokemon to uh, meet their maker. Yes, I am secretly Game Freak. Um, now I'm going to switch into... Eh, we'll just go into Persian. He woke up. Oh my gosh, he had Zap Cannon. I didn't even know that Blast no, he's got Zap Cannon. That's pretty crazy. But we'll just return him. Hopefully knock him out eventually. So, 29... Oh my gosh. Oh, this is going to be a long one. Unfortunately, my Zapdos went down, so I have nothing for this guy. It doesn't seem like he has sleep talk, so it's just, he's going to just keep resting every two turns. So, what I may have to do is go out into Heracross when he knocks me out and just set curses but we'll see yeah so I'm gonna return again he's gonna most likely rest Yep, okay. So I'm just going to go on the hair cross and hopefully I'll be able to finish this off by cursing it a couple times. It's kind of crazy that hair cross has the lower speed than last toys. Let's try that. Just curse twice. And he keeps going for the uh, zap cannon. Yep, that's a good damage. So, two more to take him out. One more. And even if he rests, he won't be able to uh, knock me out because I have enough damage. Yep, to where I can knock him out two turns of rest. So that's that. Um, probably going to call it here for today. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, and last time I know I had the weird uh, black bars on the sides, but I think I've figured out how to edit that all out and whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next time. Keep it super fantastic.